All right, hello students. Hello again, welcome back to class. And we are on page 57, lesson number five, pronunciation, sentence stress. Remember, I'm telling you about that. Pronunciation, intonation, sentence stress, and word stress. And so we stress different syllables in the word, and we also stress different words in the sentence. And pause. And so we're going to listen to the sentence stress. Listen and practice. Notice the words with the most stress in the sentence. In the sentence, we stress at least one word. And if it's a long word, we stress more than one word, like I just did. Pay attention. I'm st I stress whenever I talk to you, I stress one or two or three words in almost every sentence I speak. Pay attention to which words I stress. But now, in your book, what do you need? The word need is stressed. What do you need? I need some bread and some fish. Look, two words are stressed in that sentence. I need some bread and some fish. Do you need any fruit? Okay, so fruit, the object of the sentence is what we're stressing. Yes, I want some bananas. You see the stress? Yes, I want some banana. It's not banana, it's not banana, it's banana. The stress is on the second syllable. Bananas. So say it after me. What do you need? What do you need? I need some bread and fish. I need some bread and fish. Do you need any fruit? Do you need any fruit? Yes, I want some bananas. Yes, I want some bananas. Okay, I would like for you to record your voice. Your homework, there's only four sentences. I want, to, I want you to record your voice in Telegram, and I want to hear you say these. But now we have a conversation. And so you can, I'll let you read the conversation with me. It's a conversation between Mom and Amy. Hello, mom is answering the telephone. So Amy is at the grocery store. We say grocery store, market, sa, supermarket, we can say. Amy is at the gro um, grocery store and she calls mom and she needs to ask some questions about what Amy and her dad need to buy. All right, so hello, mom answers the phone. Hi mom, it's Amy. Dad and I are shopping. We have your shopping list, but we have some questions. No problem. What do you want to know? We have the hamburger meat, but want to know if you need pickles or tomatoes or cheese. Yes, I need them all. Thanks for asking, I forgot. What kind of soda? Get some Coke and Sprite, six cans of each. And one final thing, how many lemons for the lemonade? Get a dozen big lemons. Thanks, Mom, sorry to bother you. No problem, Amy. It's better to be safe than sorry. So you're listening to me. What are you listening for? You're listening for pronunciation. You're listening for intonation. And you're listening for the stress of the words and the words in the sentence. And you're listening for pause. And so this time, just look at me. And I want you to pay attention to those four things, how I speak. And then I'll let you say it after me. Hello. Hi, Mom, it's Amy. Dad and I are shopping. We have your shopping list, but we have some questions. 
No problem. What do you want to know? We have the hamburger meat, but want to know if you need pickles or tomatoes or cheese. Yes, I need them all. Thanks for asking. I forgot. And what kind of soda? Get some Coke and Sprite. Six cans of each. And one final thing. How many lemons for the lemonade? Get a dozen big lemons. Thanks, Mom. Sorry to bother you. No problem, Amy. It's better to be safe than sorry. Did you notice? Lots of intonation, pronunciation with the S words. Did you notice my stress? You should watch this video again and watch this section of how I make the stress. What word? Because I do all the time in every sentence. I stress certain words. You need to pay attention to that to learn how to do it yourself. All right, and so now you say it after me. All right? Moi, be, bye. Hello? Hi, Mom. It's Amy. Dad and I are shopping. We have your shopping list, but we have some questions. No problem. What do you want to know? We have the hamburger meat, but want to know if you need pickles or tomatoes or cheese. Yes, I need them all. Thanks for asking. I forgot. And what kind of soda? Get some Coke and Sprite. Six cans of each. And one final thing. How many lemons for the lemonade? Get a dozen big lemons. Thanks, Mom. Sorry to bother you. No problem, Amy. It's better to be safe than sorry. So, here's a great video, a great lesson for you to learn pronunciation, intonation, stress of words, stress in sentences, and pause. Let's look at the pictures. So there's a, a lady in the yellow jacket and she's shopping and she has a shopping cart. The shopping cart is the big one that they put their food in. And then there's somebody else with a shopping basket. A shopping cart is the big one that has wheels and the shopping basket is the small one that we carry. So if you want to speak English fluently, I recommend you go back Listen to this video again. These are all very important videos for, for grammar, learning grammar, some, any, and for learning pronunciation especially. So I recommend that you watch it again, but take a break and we'll go on to lesson number six, conversation.